In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a digital forensic image from a USB drive using TX1, OpenTextit TX1 write blocker. It's fast, reliable, but noisy. That's why I removed uh, the main sound from the main video. Let's start. First thing, we have two USB drives. What you can see, uh, it's a well-built write blocker uh, from the left side, where's the right blocker, where you uh, plug in the evidence, USB, and in the right, where you can plug in the USB that you need to write the image onto. Uh, first thing, before, before you create an image, you need to make sure the time and the date of the right blocker is correct. The time and the date is correct. And here's how I can change the time and the date. Without changing the time and date, that means the information with the image itself will be invalid. Okay, would be invalid, especially because we are creating EX01 image that has some kind of metadata about uh, who done the image, the time and date, uh, SHA1, uh, MD5, and so on. And here is how. This device is very well built. However, as I said in the beginning, noisy. And to be honest, the screen size should be bigger. Uh, also, let's see. I'm sitting at the month, uh, I think. Uh, I'm sitting in 10 minutes right now and you need to hit save. Also, the next thing you need to do is to make sure the user is your name. Okay, the user is your name. To change the user, you go to the bottom and here's it. It's user one. We need to change it to your name. First name, last name or whatever. Um, you do it okay your name or you may have an id rather than a name i'm going to write my name nebras yeah i'm just using one hand to record another hand to write it's very difficult as i said the screen is a little small uh, hopefully the next upgrade for these devices they increase the size of screen and to reduce the fan noise okay but however the performance is very very high it um, it create the image within a couple of minutes uh, if you use FTK measure in your computer it take more than 10 minutes to create the three minutes uh, image and now I insert the USB where's the evidence in uh, in the left side of the device, in the left side, this is where the evidence are. And type duplicator or duplicate. And here is the main information of the source like USB, SanDisk, and it's uh, 16 gigabyte. And here is the second uh, USB where I need to save my uh, image to. I plug it on the right side. It's not right protected, the right side. Remember, right blocker allow us to, to block writing to the evidence. And now you select destination. And what you can see, the destination size is smaller than the source size. But however, it will work because we are going to create EX01 uh, file. Then, uh, view the information, make sure everything looks fine. Uh, source, destination, the, the hash types you need to select and, uh, and so on. Okay. Um, yeah, the image format, type format, I'm selecting EX01, which allow us to compress the file, encrypt the file and, and adding metadata with the file. Okay. And hit start to duplicate this will take a couple of minutes it mentioned here it's three minutes to create the image 
into the USB drive. In the next three minutes, or it will, it will take less than three minutes to be honest. Okay, it will take less than three minutes. Let's view the TX1 from the right side. There is multiple uh, ports that you can use. Uh, from the left side, also there is multiple ports uh, to input from. Okay, to input from uh, this tabler or right blocker, you can connect it to the network. I mean, if you work as a law enforcement or a co big consulting company, digital forensic company, you can uh, connect this one to your uh, network and then you can generate the images straight away they go to your uh, network storage okay to network storage however the thing i don't like with the right blocker uh, before we bought this one uh, to be honest i thought it's portable 100 uh, percent to be honest it's not portable 100 percent because always you need to have the power on always you need to have the power on once you disconnect the power from this device, you lost everything. You lost everything. Okay, there is no battery with this one. Um, now the time is eight forty-five. Uh, to be honest, uh, when I, when I create the time, I create wrongly. It's eight forty-five in the morning, but now it's eight forty-five at evening. Okay, make sure the integrity. Uh, always uh, validate your uh, don't don't do things very fast uh, try to to know what you done and if you done something wrong just make sure you fix it okay make sure you fix it and here is it we have just three seconds to remaining to finish uh, writing to the device and we get the the hashes of the input and the hashes of the output also, you can view more information uh, like uh, the source and destination uh, and the hashes as well. And what you can see here, the SHA-1 and SHA-1 in the source and destination are equal. Now, I disconnect this USB and I will connect it to my laptop. This is where the new evidence, okay, the new image. I will connect it to my laptop and let's jump to my laptop to view uh, the files. Now let's make sure um, we manage to create the image. First thing you need to return the USB uh, to save storage. Make sure to keep the evidence always save and using chain of custody. As you see from uh, the previous 30 seconds, I have plugged in the USB into my computer. And here is it, the USB has 8 gigabyte of uh, uh, the size. And once I click on it, I found a TX uh, Imager, create a folder called TX1 Imager, and create another folder within TX Imager uh, uh, by the date and the time uh, when we create the image. It's 14 of November 2022 at 8 o'clock. And here's the image we just create called image.ex01. And this is the metadata comes with uh, an image, some uh, informations. Uh, I will open, you can open txt or html. I will open the html one. And here's the information. The creation time, it took around two minutes to create using a tx1 uh, device. The source, which is 16 gigabyte sand disk and let's see the file system yeah you can get the file system information as well in tfs file system okay a new space is just 116 megabyte used space okay 116 uh, megabyte used space from the 16 gigabyte and the, also you you get uh, the SHA-1 and MD-5, keep these safe, write them somewhere, you should write them a new report. That means if someone, after one year or ten years, try to create the same image from the same device, they should get the same result from SHA-1 and MD-5, okay, to ensure the integrity. And also, 
uh, the image uh, file format we have created the ex01 the in case uh, file format okay ex01 and this allow us to to add some metadata within uh, the, the image and allow us to encrypt the image file and allow us to compress the images okay to compress the image file and here is it the same md5 from the source to destination that means we ensure the integrity and this is the second uh, usb is just eight gigabyte it's smaller than the source but however because we use an ex01 we are not going to do uh, bit by bit we are going to uh, uh, compress the image and here is it um, the target machine ntfs as well 8 gigabyte and in use just 42 megabyte let's <clears throat> let's check the image the image size is 72 megabyte 72 megabyte let's try to make sure that we have imaged everything I will open it using FTK measure I think drag and drop we can do uh, no, no drag and drop let me try uh, add evidence item um, image file destination I will I will copy the destination a browse and here is it x1 the file system in TFS and here's um, let's see the files okay here is all the files within this image okay here's all the files within the image and here is it the scotch a man in I think Edinburgh okay and some pictures here and there USB drive and and so on okay uh, you can do any change to this to this image because it's an image uh, you have created using uh, the original evidence uh, USB remember use the chain of custody and keep the original device in some place uh, safe thank you for watching and see you next video